Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are they getting it in? Somebody's getting funny. What's going to be funny? <laughs> Woo! What's going to be funny today? Have another day. Have another day. We call Monday. And it would have been said, what's going to be funny? Ugh. As you already know, let's just go that morning, uh, like we always do that morning with you up that air. Come on, do it with me. Come on. Uh, one more time. Uh, you know, sometimes you have to exhale a little bit, you know, because there's so much stress and stuff out here in the world. You know, and as far as I was saying in reference to, you know, relationships and when I was talking in reference to, you know, prior me trying to find the man for me. Here we go. And this is the reason why I don't have a man. This is one of the reasons of many of thousands. Anyway, the being said, we're going to talk in reference to Biblical Pop and 50 Cent on, let me say it was live, on the like Andy Cohen live, um, I think it was called live, anyway, the being said, it was something that came on at the um, House of of Atlanta, and it was called um, live with Andy Cohen, I forget what the name is, but um, this is the thing, this is, this, is the, this is the name of the title that it was right here. Okay, I'll just put it up there like that because I can always add it once I finish the video. Get it? You work with me? Okay, here we go. Okay, this is the thing. Now, you know, 50 Cent and um, Vivica used to date and stuff like that. And what happened was, something happened within the relationship that Vivica thought she was still with him and 50 Cent had moved on. And when they were asked, you know, were 50 Cent still dating Vivica, 50 Cent said he wasn't, allegedly. But anyway, it was sad. So, of course, it kind of... Um, hurt Vivica and stuff like that and she really loved him and you know a lot of times when it comes to relationships when you're in love with someone it's usually someone who is not as in love with the other partner as much as the other partner is in love with them. Oh, that, oh, that, I'm confused. And it would have been said. And I'm not saying everybody but the people who always have to go against everything I say. Anyway, the big side. So what happened was um, Andy Cohen was asking about Vivica in reference to Empire and Vivica that she's coming on as Cookie's sister. I'm not sure of the name, but anyway, she's coming on as Cookie's sister. And Andy Cohen was like, well, I think it's his name, but anyway. His name, when he was like, well, how do you feel about 50, 50 Cent saying that um, the Raiders had dropped because of all the gay stuff? So, hmm. Vivica decided she was going to protect her new Empire family, honey. Because at the end of the day, she is a part of the show, and it's almost like as if you know, if you're attacking my people, then I'm gonna come back to your people and stuff like that. It's been an ongoing feud in reference to you know, um, you know, Empire, and I think um, it's the name of his, um, I think he has something that's going on called Power. I never saw Power, but you know, it is what it is. So the thing about it, that's his rivalry, you know, but that's how it is, you know. I hate to say this, but it kind of, it kind of, this makes good publicity for both teams because it lets you know. Now people are going to try to find out what power is all about. Now people are going to try to find out what empire is all about. It kind of is very good for ratings because the negative in the world we live in, it brings people to look. And we're talking about it as I'm talking about it as well. Okay, Vivica says, <laughs> Andy Cohen was like, how do you feel about that? You know, reference to the ratings had dropped because of all the gay stuff. So Vivica said, and this is the tea, it is, not li it is, like, calling the, it is like calling the pot of the kettle black. Did you hear that? I'll say it again. It is like calling the pot on the kettle black. That's all she's going to say. Okay. Now, and she and it was and so Andy was like, well, you know, what do you mean in reference to that? So she was like, um, well, it was the cover. She had said by, but she meant excess excess um, magazine. And the thing about it was XSL magazine. So. This, now, 50 Cent got his arms around Soldier Boy. That was Soldier Boy in the uh, magazine cover. To me, it's harmless, but you know, when you're at, at war, honey, anything is not off. But anyway, the being said. So I did find it a little, I'm not going to lie, I did find it a little awkward that he was holding on to another guy and he was holding on to him, you know, as if he's shooting, but it is what it is. And, you know, I understand when the world we live in, negative over conquer positive. So I, I kind of understood what the whole thing was about. You know, I paid it no mind myself. Anyway, the being said. So what happened was. Vivica was like, mm. she said, she said, it just seems like he has something not quite clear 
about, you know, his sexuality. Mm, 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 mm. To, um, he seemed to like, you know, booty. Seems like it's a, seems like it's a big thing to some people, but not a big thing to most. But anyway, so the thing about it was, I guess he, he got a whiff of it, so he had uh, Andy Cohen's live going on, and you know, um, at the Housewives of Atlanta. So he had his publicist to call up and said, that's not what he said and stuff like that, you know. Because he was just putting it out there. This is the way I'm seeing it within my head. He was putting it out there because he wanted people to know that, you know, he really didn't say that there was something attached to it. Hmm. But the thing about it was that I feel as though he just sent this publicist out there because he was about to do the attack, you know, making something, you know. But then I got the little sweet thing of it that, you know, he was like, well, you ate my booty and he says that he likes to get his booty eaten. Mm -hmm. Check this out. You see that? Now, allegedly, that's what he wrote. Allegedly, that was him saying that. I'm not saying he said it. I'm not saying he didn't. But allegedly, it came from him. Anyway, that being said, so in other words, he was saying he liked to have his booty licked. So with me and the, the lifestyle I am in, it, as well as the girls like me and, you know, the gay community, most straight men do not play that. They, y'all don't do that. Don't do that. Don't don't play with my ass. They don't play that. Now, when a man can hawk his butt up and just let you go, mmm, up in there, honey. Mmm. <laughs> and if you know, if you've been watching my channel, you know how I feel about men who, um, you know, that, um, you know, if you like to be played back there, honey, you know, must be like, oh, you're my first. But yet, still, when you, mm hmm and it's going, whoa, you know, you feel like inside of a tunnel. You say, well, that's what your mouth said, but your ass is not saying. I'm not saying that that's what I'm saying, what he's saying, but I'm just saying. Anyway, the man said, so, the thing about it is that, you know, he was like, you know, if such a boy got a whip of it, and then he was said this about Vivica. Check this out. You see that? So he started calling her granny, you know, calling her washed up. No shit, but Vivica is far from washed up. Mother's got money, she's got coins, and you know, it is what it is, and it's sad that it's gotten to this point, but it's so oh, it's funny. But I was so surprised that Miss Wendy Williams got on side of them today, and she did not even spill too much tea. Mother gets so much backlash, and I actually waited. You know, this is the first time I'm expecting her to really dig in. So what happened, Wendy? Did you get quiet? Mm-hmm. She got real quiet, kept her mouth closed. Baby, it must be some some real stuff going on behind the closed doors and mother got her mouth closed because if mother keeps her mouth closed it's because she may be a little worried anyway they're being sad that the repercussions mm. cause you know we live in a mean world and stuff like that and you know it is what it is and Vivica did shots fired and 50 cents shot back and you know, so she put his input in on it and stuff like that. It was a big mess, but it makes good media for the people like me who have a lot to talk about because they make it a lot to talk about. Anyway, the being said, you know, whether he, whether he likes his butt licked or not, that's his thing. I really don't care per se, but I thought it was quite entertaining. And then, now, to me, if a man is not guilty, why are you having a rant and rage? But it's, I guess it's his character being attacked. But if your character is being attacked, why would you let people know that you like to get your booty licked? If he likes it, he likes it, he don't, he don't. And I know people say, but just because that um, a girl licks my booty doesn't make me gay. Anyway, that being said, um, I want to know how you feel about this. Did it shock you? It didn't shock me at all. I'm not. Because if you think back when Melillion says that there are a lot of gay people out there that's at the top, I'm not saying that he's one of them, but I'm just saying. And he said that it was a lot more out there than we know, which we already kind of knew, because I always told you the DL lifestyle was way bigger, but Bilal has said it, and then they put a comment like this, it was like 50 Cent, you know, Bilal, Bilal would like to go into the studio with you, you know, little, mm. anyway, the band said, I want to say, hello, my dog, meow, I want to say, hello, my king, Boop. and I want to hear what you have to say, I want to say, hello, new people, boom, I want to say hello, old people, Ben. And I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I want you to do you. I want you to do the best way that you can. And if nobody don't like it, then fuck them.